July 9th, northwest Wisconsin. Uh, it's about 75 degrees. It's been rainy, humid. It's been a rough two weeks, last two weeks, on the bees and on me. Um, kind of get you up to speed. I haven't done any videos for about two weeks now. Um, Hive 2, I think last place we left off was that I requeened it, or they requeened themselves. Um, after having a failing queen most of this year, uh, I decided to replace the queen, ordered a new one, and by the time I got the new one, they had already hatched a new queen, and she successfully mated, so I left her. Uh, then put that purchased queen into a nook over there, um, and then for about three, four days later, Hive 1 swarmed. Uh, my brand new queen took off with about half the bees. Uh, I chased them for almost a full day trying to catch that swarm. They never came down below 40 feet up in the air, so I ended up uh, losing that queen and those bees. And then looking inside the hive, I still have a lot of bees, and there was three more swarm cells in there. So what I did was I took the queen I had put in this nuke over here, reintroduced her to this hive, and at the same time removed all the swarm cells and two frames of bees, because there was still a lot of bees, and uh, moved them back over to the nuke. Well, those queen cells ended up getting ripped apart by the bees, don't know why. Um, ended up purchasing another new queen just for that nuke, and now I've added a new hive body to it, which I just did a video on today. Um, check it out, you might like it. But uh, right now we're going to go through hive two. Um, kind of got you up to speed as to where we're at. I'm curious to see how this Saskatrass daughter, which is a hatched queen from this hive, is performing. Um, I have honey supers on here just to give them enough space so they don't swarm and I'm hoping that they're starting to work up into those supers and uh, put some comb or honey up there but we'll see. Now let's get inside this hive. Let's give them a little smoke to let them know that we're going to bug them. There, they know we're coming. Not much going on in the honey supers. I expected that. The hive has been uh, behind schedule since install. Uh, with the failing clean and then re-cleaning it. Um, not surprising that they haven't moved up here yet. Now we got a few bees in the second or the bottom honey super here. Still not enough to show you anything that's going on. Let's get down inside the hive. You notice I don't have a queen excluder on. Um, the whole reason why I don't have one on is because I have plank foundation, not drawn out comb. I'm hoping that'll encourage them to move up quicker and do a little more drawing on the comb. And once I see that, I plan on putting in an excluder before she had a chance to move up. Be seem real calm today. Hopefully I won't disturb them too bad. Outside on the frame. Both sides are some nice honey in there. This is the second brood box. This will be for them to enjoy this winter. This one too, they're drawing out home and 
throwing it full of nectar and capping it off when it's honey. with pollen frame, all pollen honey. Looks like we got a couple queen cups going on. You can see them there. It actually looks like there's larvae in them. And at least one's got larvae or jelly in it. So let's see if we can find our queen and find out what's going on. And on the other side of the frame we've got another one. And that one appears to be empty. Saskatchewan black queen. Hopefully you can see her there. Nice bright blue dot on her. second brood box. I'm going to 
button this up. Alright, let's see what the first brood box, bottom brood box has got. Start of a honey cream. Lots and lots of pollen, it's just packed full of bee bread. Both sides. Yeah, we got cap worker brood, larvae, eggs. for that other hive that I just started. That clean cup here. Looks like they're not happy with this queen. To tell you the truth, she's not performing as good as she could. So, I guess I'll let them continue to try and re-clean. You know, this bottom brood box is not built out like it should be. A lot of empty frames, a lot of space, not a lot of eggs. So, not real happy with this clean performance. thinking to do. Should I leave uh, those queen cells in there? Let them uh, re-clean themselves? Or should I interfere and try and install a new queen? Hmm. Don't know. Stay tuned next week. I think I'll have a decision by then. If you like what you see and subscribe. If you want to follow the progress of this hive, uh, please subscribe and comment. And hopefully every week I'll have an updated video. Thanks for watching.